The Great Gary Rescue. Patrick! SpongeBob cried. I have terrible news. Gary is missing. Maybe he left a clue. Hunter said. He took a step, tripped over, and one of Gary's toys and fell right into his brother's box. Wimp! He lifted his head and spotted a piece of paper. Look, a clue! It was a word from the from King Poseidon. He wanted a snail brought to him right away. The king liked to rub snail, snail slime on his face. His move out his wrinkles. Swimmer realized that someone must have snailed on Gary and taken him to the king. Patrick, he said, we have to go to the Los Angeles City and rescue Gary. When the friend reached the lost city of Atlantic City, home of King Poseidon, they were impressed. It was awesome. Remember, Patrick, SpongeBob warned. We're here to rescue Gary. We can't get distracted. Gotcha, Patrick agreed. But the lost city of Atlantic City was very distracting. Rides, shows, treats. Wave pools, dancing, fireworks, so many exciting things to do and eat. SpongeBob and Patrick were having so much fun, they forgot all about seeming Gary. After their wild night, SpongeBob and Patrick woke up on the street. Luckily, they were right in front of King Poseidon's palace. Come on, Patrick, SpongeBob said. Yeah, it's gonna be in there somewhere. SpongeBob and Patrick were. SpongeBob and Patrick asked to see King Poseidon, but his guards just laughed. So the two buddies ran past the guards and slipped into a dressing room. They put on costumes and makeup to disguise themselves. When they came out, a stage manager said, You're one! and showed them up into the spotlight. SpongeBob and Patrick squatted at King's Poseidon in their own ears. They danced and sang, I waka waka maka mia, a goofy song they knew from the days at Camp Coral. The king laughed and applied, but when he smiled into his hand mirror, he saw a line on his face. The King Poseidon hated Winkles. Bring me my snail, he commanded. King Poseidon called his name Fred, but it was very Gary. SpongeBob climbed up to the balcony and asked for his nail back. When he said no, SpongeBob tried to take Gary. Guards, the king shouted. Seize them! SpongeBob and Patrick were arrested for his nail nap and locked in the stair. Oh, Patrick! SpongeBob sobbed. I really tried to rescue Gary, but I failed. Back at Bikini Bottom, SpongeBob's friend heard about his arrest on the news. This is terrible, Cindy said. We got to save SpongeBob. The next morning, King Poseidon's friend led SpongeBob head into the trail. Contributions, contributions, he said. Your trail is the hardest ticket in town. Later, Spongebob was found guilty, and I agreed. Patrick still gave a big speech to the distracted king, while Spongebob sneaked into the balcony. He precisely frowned as he listened to Patrick found in my forehead wrinkle, so he reached for his snail. But Spongebob had swallowed with real Gary, and he slipped out of the room with Gary in. Patrick, seize them! The king screamed while when he realized he had been trapped. The guards raced after the friends. 
SpongeBob ran through the palace for Gary under his arm. Gary, you're with me now, he cried. I'll never let anyone take you again. They're going to fucking close them. They're going to they're going to kiss us, SpongeBob said. But then, Mr. Krabs, Sandy, and Squidward jumped into the front of the guards. Well, one lad, Mr. Krabs shouted. Bill had all the guards, but first friends to help him. SpongeBob knew nothing could stop him from saving Gary. Soon, SpongeBob, Gary, and their friends were back in Bikini Bottom, safe and happy to be home. The end.